G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going in depth on my hopping lowrider trike switch king today. Let's do it. Everywhere I take this bike out, whether it's to cruises, whether it's to shows, everyone always says, oh, how'd you make the kit? What's the ins and outs of it? Where'd you get the parts? And I am here to tell you all that information today. The kit itself comes from a place in Cleveland, Ohio called Fantasy Toys and Lowriders. They sent me over the kit from the States. A couple of parts were missing because of different custom standards like the air tank and things like that. So I've needed to improvise. Gonna go through each part of the air kit today and hopefully inspire you to build your own or see if you can fiddle around with the pneumatics in some different ways. Front of the bike is where we're gonna start. We've got an air ram that's rated to hold 150 kilos-ish, 290 pounds of rider weight. It's got a three inch travel in it to give us enough pop. I decided to go for the biggest and best. If I'm gonna get it sent over from the States, I'm gonna go the, the highest level. This is the highest level that they had at the store. Coming out of that is just an elbow joint down to some uh, 1 8 inch line, air line that comes through, all the way back to the box at the back. In that box, it connects up to our switch, which is a three position, three valve switch. In the middle, it's neutral, and then it opens to open the air out, and then when you let the air out, it comes out the other side of the switch here. So these switches are actually very hard to find. I couldn't find them in Australia at all when I've been building air stuff in the past, so I was pretty happy to pick one of these up in the kit. So that was, I'd say, the out of the RAM and the switch, they're the main two parts that you'd need to build this setup. I've improvised a fair bit of the rest. Let's have a look in the box in the back and see what drives it all. So, in the box, we follow our airline back from the switch, same size all the way around, to this three-way adapter into our air tank, which is actually a repurposed old fire extinguisher. It's really good, you can get these from your hardware store, and it cost me about 30 Australian bucks to get the uh, top done and welded on with an air fitting onto it. These are great because they come with their own mounting bracket, so it's just, it's nice and neat, it's in there, it's not rolling around or going anywhere like that, which is fantastic. This air tank is fed here just with a Ryobi 18 volt air compressor. Little portable thing. I was looking around for heaps of different ones, but I found that this is the best one for me because you can just get it, the battery, chucked it on the charger and it lasts for ages. It's fairly hardy, gets me the PSI that I need, which is fantastic. You also notice in here, we've got a bit of a strap to hold in any cargo you've got. If you're out on a picnic or having some beers or something like that, just to make sure it's nice and secure. But it's for the most important part of the hopping trikes magic. All right, this last edition is probably the most important to make this trike hop properly. Before I did this, we were only hopping about a foot off the ground, but that addition is this. Oh, a bunch of weight. So this is just a whole lot of fishing sinkers that are in a container, make it nice and neat. That just drops in there at the back of the box. So it's the furthest back away from the, the axle, the rear axle, because that is our pivot point when we're doing our hopping. As you can see, when that's in there, I'm popping as high as it goes. I can do uh, hit the bumpers on the back and things like that. It's really, really cool. Wouldn't recommend it when you're riding, but it's great when I put it in for shows and other things like that to show off the hopping ability of this. When I'm hopping, it's about 150 PSI that I can get up to with the little Ryobi, which is which is more than enough. That holds my rider weight and I can ride around all day. I've done 20Ks on this bike around Melbourne and things like that. 150 is also what gets it popping and up and about as well. 
It can still jump to about 80 psi, but you can't ride it unless you've got something about over 140 in there. You may have spotted when I am jumping this bike, these gold chains that hang off the pedals and attach up to our handlebars. These are important because when you're jumping and you're throwing your front wheel around like that, it is swinging in the wind. So, we need to try and keep it straight and that's what I came up with to keep the, the front wheel as straight as possible, not smashing into the frame and things like that while we're hopping. There we go, thank you for watching today. Hopefully it's inspired you with your building. Think outside the box, maybe building something with air, something that can hop, that'd be really sick. Hit me up on Instagram if you've got stuff in the works, I would love to see it. Speaking of Instagram, don't forget to like and follow me there. Like this video, subscribe, hit all those buttons you know you need to, and I will catch you next time.